Hello, Taurus. <clears throat> this is your mid-November 2018 reading. You may be doing with the Princess, Prince, Princess of Swords. If I didn't call, call it too much yet. If it comes back out, it's meant to be. But this is for Taurus. Mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Taurus individuals. So I'm hoping it'll reach the masses. But this is for Taurus. Mid-November 2018. Hopefully we get a good energy this time. Taurus, mid-November, 2018. Hoping you're doing well. And even better as November goes on. But let's see what the incoming energies are for Taurus. Holding back, holding back power, energy. Maybe Better face the camera. Holding back power. Taking your power back. Keeping things close to yourself. Your emotions, finances. Saving things. Keeping wealth. It's all kind of reasons. But that is the beginning energy for you, Taurus. It's good energy. It's a pentacles energy. An energy that you know. Because pentacles is always earth. In the past, there were some changes going on. And you may be busy doing more than one thing, trying to juggle two different situations in your life. It's, it's, it's causing you some work. You're going to have to work on whatever is going on in the past, but you were busy. And you're trying not to drop something. You're trying to keep it going. Whatever is going on in your life, you're trying to keep it moving, as I should say. Now, I'm going to clarify it with these cards. This is a new deck. And I'm trying to break them in. But the Two of Pentacles, why are you there? For Taurus in the past. And it's a good card. I like it. At least it's movement. Two of Pentacles in the past. Keeping busy. Changes. And plus you had some changes also. Because that's a change card. Things, things changed in the past. Two of Pentacles, again, why are you there? In the past for Taurus. You had to change with this Five of Cups. A little bit of sorrow involved. You had to. Things didn't go your way. But there is hope. You looked at, at those two full cups, better things. You know you have hope. Can I get another card for the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups? You had to change. Something had to change in your life because of Something that kind of broke your heart, made you sad. Could have to do with the Queen of Wands energy. This could be a fire sign or just someone taking on that energy. They're in the upright. You could actually be taking on this energy yourself if you wanted to. But usually attached to this is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some some decks say it's a Leo, some say it's Aries, but we're reading for the masses. So it's a fire type energy or someone taking on an energy. Someone maybe deciding to put their crown on and decide to do something more passionate in the past. <clears throat> Hoping I'm not coming with the cold again. Obstacle. You're having trouble making that passionate new beginning. You're working on it. You're, it's your, one of your main desires, the Ace of Wands, beginning something new and and you're feeling like you can't do it for some reason. Something's getting in your way. You can leave it in the comments if I have them open. The Ace of Wands in the upright. Why are you an obstacle for Taurus? I don't get it. Why are you an obstacle? With the lover. Lover break your heart. This lover is an obstacle. Maybe you're wanting a passionate new beginning with a lover or they're wanting it with you. Can I get another card for the Ace of Wands and the Lover's card? I do feel it's attainable or wouldn't be there. Someone's trying to work on it or they're, they got it there or maybe they're having trouble. Yeah, they're wanting better things to come in. They're wanting love to come in and, and they want this passionate new beginning and they're having trouble obtaining it. Current environment. 
You feel like you didn't get a victory, or you will feel this way as the current situation. You feel like, I lost out. I didn't get my victory. I didn't get my happy home. I didn't, I didn't come home feeling like I won anything in my life. But the Six of Wands, why are you there for Taurus? Why do you feel like you didn't gain a victory? Not happy, didn't get what you wished for. Heart's a little broke, even though you're kind of moving along and still working and still doing what you have to do in this life. There's sorrow attached because you wanted this really, really bad, this passion in the beginning, like I said. But you feel like you didn't get your wish fulfilled. And I get another card, or the victory card, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. That's what you're feeling. And you want a stable, new beginning. That's what you're a wish. That's what you didn't get the victory on. Something you wished for and hoped for that allowed a stable, new beginning. The outside environment, what is causing all this possibly, what is coming towards you? Luck. You do have luck on your side, possibly. Things moving forward. Wheel of Fortune, why are you there? Could be as someone's looking for their fortune and looking for better luck. Someone's maybe able to manifest this luck. Wheel of Fortune, why are you there? In the upright, by the way. Good card. Nothing wrong with that. You may have good fortune and work coming your way. But I also still see you sad about a love situation. I don't know what it is. But what's coming towards you, or the energy the universe is allowing you, is to change your fortune and bring you luck. And you get that stability. So the energy's out there for you to obtain this if you really want to. You just got to know it's there. You got to still keep the eye on those two full cups that are there behind you, waiting for you to take them. Don't look at the negatives. Can I get the Wheel of Fortune or another card for the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles of, you know, satisfaction in life? Can I get another card for Taurus? Oh, these cards are hard to do. Page of Cups. Someone may actually make you an offer. Someone may send you a message of friendship or love. This person may be have some young energy to them. They're very, their energy is contagious and they make you feel better. So look for this energy right here. This outside environment. What could be coming through? Could be that someone actually offers this to you, for some of you. But you need to get over that feeling of, I'm not winning and keep on going with that change. Use the Queen of Wands energy to get what you want. Want a final outcome? Taking control. Some of you can be dealing with the Aries. But this is someone who's able to take control of their life and actually put that crown on. The emperor knows what they're doing. And sometimes they're a little abrupt. Some people say they push things. But this emperor's in the upright and they're in the right. So I'm thinking some of you, your luck will change if you go for it. If you let it go, it won't. If you just you know, think to yourself and don't get out there and put positive energy towards it because it's out there. It really is, or I wouldn't get these cards. The Emperor, the last card of taking control of your life, letting destiny come in and do what it needs to do. The Emperor, why are you there? As the outcome, taking control, why? You already see some of it, but holding back your fortune. You're going to take control, holding back your fortune close to yourself. Four of Pentacles in the upright is a good card. It's not like someone's going to take what you have because you're keeping it close and safe. And I get another card for the Emperor. 
and the Four of Pentacles in the upright. Starts off kind of negative a little bit. A little sorrow there, like I said. But it's slowly coming along. So even though you feel as mid-November comes, you didn't get a victory. But it looks like things may turn around for some of you. Can I get another card for the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles? A Y card. You're going to take a much needed break, too. You're taking control of the situation. You're not going to let things bother you too much. You're going to take that break. You need rest. Whatever is victory you didn't think you, 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 you received. But like I said, the, the energy that's coming towards you, the outside environment, things are moving forward now. And stability will come in good positive offers. And you won't you can be able to take a much needed break, rest from the anxieties, you'll be taking control, keeping things close to you. The final energy, you got the five of wands. This is a I say aggressive energy. I'm not talking about physically hurting anybody or doing anything or arguing like that. To me, when I get these cards, this is competition, this is business, this is means Business may be picking up in the competitive world for some of you. So look at it that way because that's uh, to me a fighting energy would be the Five of Swords. Five of Wands is more competitive. So is the Seven of Wands is actually taking on that energy and winning. But you will be taking control. You'll be competitive to the outside world. You will take a bit of a break first, get your energies back up and holding things close to yourself while this is occurring. Recuperate. Take your energy back and win. And that is your reading, Taurus. I'm happy for you because I don't see this energy happening too often at, at, at this time. I think Scorpio had the better energies for a while there. But now, Taurus, as it moves along, the energies, even past November, things will start picking up for some of you. And you better, gain, you better aim for that energy. Okay? Grab it. Don't let it pass you by. That's your reading. I'll talk to you later. Bye.